This is Mary Jose Loando, who lives in Pacajuma, one of Kinshasa's many slums. She sells bread to the residents of this sprawling settlement, which has an unfortunate reputation for both crime and sex work. Mary Jose is lucky, though, as she's received some business training from a local NGO. I've seen a change in my business because of the training we got. I used to spend most of my income on buying cosmetics and clothes to enhance my beauty, but that training has opened my mind to sound business practices. A young lawyer called Eliane Kibubi decided to start the NGO Pakajuma Resilience to support some of the women and children living there. Both my parents are teachers. For me, education is the foundation of every society. And in this area, most children have not had the chance to go to school. In this place, as you can see, a good number of children have not been Many girls have not been taught certain values. This is a place where rape, robbery and prostitution are part of everyday life. And it reflects the reality of our Congo as a whole. C'est un endroit qui me donne toujours cette envie de dire que tout est possible dans notre pays. Et ça reflète réellement la réalité de notre Congo dans l'ensemble. Eliane supports people who settled in Pakajuma after fleeing the fighting in the east of the country. Many of us can't afford to pay for studies. And we feel ashamed to start studying at a late stage in life. But Mama Eliane, our sister, was compassionate towards us and started educating us for free. Life in Pakajuma is challenging, as our correspondent explains. The high unemployment rate in the DRC and the migration of people from rural areas to cities like Kinshasa has led to the growth of slums like Pakajuma. Life here is a daily struggle for survival for many of the residents. But with her free education program, Eliane Kibubi is determined to make a difference.